Hey guys, welcome to my radio station. Thank you. This is radio. I'm on the Twin Flame Radio. Bow, 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 bow. We're on the Twin Flame. Whoa, radio. Bow, 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 bow. It's messages from Divine Masculine. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you're having a really crummy Wednesday. Worst day of your life. I'm just joking. Hope you're having a fabulous day. And did you know that I too am having a fabulous day? And if you're not, I'm going to cheer you up. That's my job. It is my job too, actually. And I get it. I get it. I get it. A lot of you watching are in a bad way. You're desperate. You feel like shit. Your twin flame is not talking to you. They're pulling away. They're giving you the runaround. Or they straight up have you blocked, etc., etc. It sucks. It sucks. I know. I get it. I've been there. I was there. It fucking sucked. But I've got some interesting information for you. I have a permanent relating experience with my twin flame. No more running and chasing. She is in my life permanently. Permanently. What do you think about that, Jack? Yeah, I think that's pretty nice. Do you think that's nice? I think that's pretty nice. Now, why am I telling you this? To brag and boast, that's why. No, that's not why I'm telling you. Guys, I'm a professional twin flame coach. And, uh, you know, you're looking for answers. You're searching everywhere, high and low. Who do I listen to? Who do I trust? I don't know what to do. Well, maybe somebody who is not having problems with their twin flame is somebody to listen to. Now, there's one caveat. And I'm going to be addressing this in a video very soon. I mean, okay, I'm a dork. I did address this in a recent video on Monday, <laughs> right? Where I was talking about twin flame couples. Oh, dun, 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 twin flame couples. What's the deal? I'll tell you what the deal is. Almost all. And I'm talking like I know one twin flame couple on the entire internet that I look at and I see actually twin flames. One. One twin flame couple. Out of all the so-called twin flame couples on the internet, you can tell are actually twin flames. And by the way, the so-called masculine twin really doesn't show up in videos ever. Like she's around, you can tell she's in his life, the so-called feminine, right? Of which I am, I am the so-called feminine in my twin flame relating experience. Okay, one couple, one couple. When I listen to the guy talk, I can tell this is an actual twin flame experience. One soul split in two. All the other so-called twin flame couples, what do you get? You get soulmates who believe that they are twin flames. And I'm not even trying to like talk smack. I'm, I'm not, you know, it's just the whole twin flame thing has become such a fad. People hear the term twin flame and it just has a very endearing quality doesn't it right like if you've ever had like a really great relationship with somebody you fell in love and it was all magical and awesome and it stayed that way for a long time you know they used to call that soulmates well the word twin flame the term twin flame is getting increasingly popular and uh people pick, you know they pick up on that and they think oh that's what this is it's this amazing romantic connection. Yeah, wow, you're my twin flame. I love you so much. No, 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 no. Th these folks are, are good people. I think they are, really. I think they're good people. I think they're very sincere. I think they're very kind. I think they are very intelligent. But they're just confused, guys. 
Twin flame is your spiritual awakening, and it is very painful, isn't it? Yes, it's extremely painful, emotionally draining. You go through this horrible dark night of the soul experience, yet you see these supposed twin flame couples on the internet, and they're talking about how great everything is. No, no, <laughs> no, eh, wrong. Okay, so... The moral of the story is you are on an actual Twin Flame teacher channel and I am having a permanent relating experience with my Twin Flame. <gasps> oh my God, look, 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 look. Oh, the love us. Oh, oh, it's the love us. Uh, it didn't even come out in the reverse. Oh. Well, I guess it's union time. And I just have to say, told you, I fucking told you. Didn't I say this like three weeks ago that this was going to happen? Uh, yeah, I've been saying that for a while. In almost every reading for the last almost month, I told you it's time for union. Look at all these beautiful cards in this spread. Here we've got the Six of Cups. Recent past, Divine Masculine. Exactly. Divine Masculine has been waiting for you, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine is having all of these nostalgic thoughts about you. And they can't get over you. And they're never going to quit. They're never going to give up until you are back in their arms. You think I'm making this up? Why would I get the lovers at the fucking bottom of the deck? That is fantastic. Ladies and gentle femmes, here we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles, recent past for the so-called karmic situation. Divine Masculine, pausing to consider very, very carefully the situation. Should I stay? Should I go? I definitely think I should go. That's certainly been the theme lately. And a lot of drama, a lot of fighting. It's not been a happy time for Divine Masculine. But the decision has been made. The decision has been made. And you can tell because of the cards that follow. Look at this. Divine Feminine, I refuse to let you go. I know you're the one. You are my higher power, the High Priestess and the Nine of Wands. I'm not fucking letting you go. So this is kind of like this Two of Pentacles energy up here. You've got over here, I'm holding on to this karmic situation because I feel like I need closure. I need to think things through. That's kind of been the deal with Divine Masculine, getting very nostalgic on both situations, even though they know this isn't really for them. And how do I know that's not really for them? Well, go watch my last Divine Masculine video from Saturday. But with you, Divine Feminine, it's a little bit of a different story. They look to you in a very endearing way. The high, I mean, come on, the High Priestess and the Nine of Wands, they're not letting you go. They're not letting you go. Who do you think they're going to pick? Uh, I don't know. Divine Feminine? Uh, yeah. And they're absolutely fucking serious. Look at this. Two of Wands. This is why I said that they're absolutely fucking serious. They're making plans for their new life with you, Divine Feminine. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. The Two of Wands at the center of the reading. Ah, uh, yeah. Pretty sure they're going to be knocking on your door soon. Guys, this is really good news. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Divine Masculine knocking on your door towards the so-called karmic situation. Okay, yeah, there's the King of Pentacles, but there's just one problem. It's the Two of Cups in reverse. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. The whole world turned on its head. Topsy-turvy. It's tick-off time. It's time to get shitty with the karmic. Kick them to the curb. Leave them behind. Take all the money with me. Go on. Take the money and run. Right? Whatever it takes. I've got to change up my physical situation. I know what my worth is. I know what my value is. And this is not for me. I need to think this through. It's time for me to go. Now, Divine Feminine, they're scared to death of you. Divine Masculine is absolutely scared to death of you. The Moon and the Queen of Swords. But... In reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse next to the moon. What is she going to do? Is she going to kick me out? Is she going to say no? Is she going to reject me? 
Look, here's the thing, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine knows they did wrong by you. They know that. They know that. They're not stupid. Well, maybe. But for, 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 for we'll, we'll just give them the, de the, the benefit of the doubt, okay? We'll just give them the benefit of the doubt. They know that you have every right to be pissed and you could very well say no to them. Now, you're probably not going to say no, but that's kind of been on their mind lately. Like, if I'm being honest about the situation, I don't think I treated her or him, right? You could be a gentle femme, as I call it, right? I am, right? So-called divine feminine. But if I'm being honest, I did not treat her fairly. Now, they've got one thing on their mind. That's why the lover's card comes out front and center, upright at the bottom of the deck. What a fabulous card to get at the bottom of the deck. Guys, this is huge. This is huge. Divine Masculine is chasing you now. Divine Masculine is chasing you now. It's about fucking time. Let's do an Oracle card, guys. Let's see what Roxy has to say today. Hey, hey. And as always, if you want to work with me, if you want to work with the best, you know where to find me. Go to my website. There's a link in the description box below to go to my website. Why should you work with me? Well, because I'm the most successful twin flame coach in the world. I am the number one twin flame coach. And if that sounds like a brag or a boast, hold on one second. Don't sweat me. Here's the thing. I've coached over 3,000 students and I have caused more unions than any other twin flame coach on planet Earth. Now, maybe that's a boast. <laughs> but here's the thing, and I addressed this at the beginning of the video. There's a lot of people out there who claim to know what to tell you to do about your twin flame situation, and you're looking for answers. You don't know who to trust. You might be new to my YouTube channel. You don't know who the hell I am. And you're, you're sitting there wondering, well, Kurt, why should I listen to you? Why should I give you one thin dime? And that's a fair question. That is a fair question. You have every right to ask that question. You don't know who I am. It's true. Well, there you go. Why should you trust me? I'm the world's number one twin flame coach. There you go. Plain and simple. Go to my website right now. You can read testimonials from my students who are with their twin flame, married to their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs. Guys, the thing about your twin flame the best part isn't actually getting them to be with you, believe it or not. The best part is what you become. That's the best part. Trust me on this, okay? I'm doing it, and all of my students are doing the same. However, if you embrace your spiritual awakening and go on to live your best, most amazing life, then your twin flame shows up to be with you. It's just icing on the cake, right? And you just got to treat it like that. And that's exactly how you get your twin flame to chase you. It's so easy, guys. What you're doing is hard, okay? What I'm talking about is easy. You can get your twin flame to be permanently with you if you want, but it's not what you think it is. Literally, it's not mind stuff. It's soul stuff. So go to my website, read the testimonials, sign up for my coaching while you're there. And well, I just want to point out my coaching, by the way, is not expensive. I don't charge thousands. It's very, very affordable. It's only two or 300 bucks. That's it. Not thousands, two or $300. And you get a lot of stuff, guys. Nine hours of coaching videos, up to 30 hours a month of additional live coaching. You can talk to me and my two coaches live on the phone every single month, up to 30 hours. It's insane how fat we hook it up for so little money. And that's not all. Not only are my prices already very low, but if you cannot afford my already very low prices, two or 300 bucks, that's no problem, guys. I have payment plans. You can start today for 50 or $60. I take the total package price and break it down into six easy to digest payments. I know this all sounds good, too good to be true, but you know what? I got some news for you. It's too good to not be true. That's the way shit should be. I just decided I'm gonna do things the way they should be done. And so that's what I'm doing. Welcome to New World All-Star. Let's do this Oracle card, guys. What you got for us, sweet Roxy? What's up, Roxy, baby? We got the lovers at the bottom of the deck. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This card is practically jumping at me. Wow, I can really feel that. 
Oh, that's very interesting. Freedom. Mmm, very interesting. Divine masculine. Okay, so look, two of wands at the center of the reading. So I'm making plans to move forward with my new life. That was kind of the theme this last weekend with divine masculine. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, they're not letting you go. They're fucking clinging to you. They're clinging to... Oh, I think I see what's going on. Oh, you're going to love how this reading turns out. Oh my goodness. Guys, wait until I read the last two cards in this reading. You're going to flip. I think I understand what's going on here. Divine Masculine would pick you over any physical situation ever. That's exactly what's going on. Now I understand this King of Pentacles and also this Ten of Pentacles. Don't be fooled by this Eight of Cups. Divine Masculine is simply saying yes to you and no to like having to have their physical situation be a certain way. Does that make sense? Like I don't care if I lived in a ditch or if I lived, you know, like um, on my buddy's couch, you know, I have to leave my karmic behind, get a divorce, whatever it is I'm doing. As long as I get Divine Feminine, oh my God, that is so amazing. That's freedom to Divine Masculine. That makes so much sense. Okay, freedom. The drawing of this card illustrates that the oracle is asking you to free up your thinking and feeling for you are the only jailer that may be keeping your consciousness prisoner. Every aspect of your consciousness is a choice. Even if you've made an inaccurate choice, choose again. That is the meaning of the word mistake. If this is what you missed, take again. This time, by liberating the conviction of your love for self, you will spring your soul from its prison. Ask Uriel to show you alternative choices. Because they resonate of pure love, they will also free you from your thought jail and take you to consequences you may have never dreamed of. That is incredible. So, here's the thing. Divine Masculine doesn't need their situation to be any particular way at all. They just need Divine Feminine. It doesn't matter if they're sleeping on their buddy's couch, sleeping in a hotel, sleeping in their car. You know, like what if they have to leave their spouse to be with you? They're going to fucking do it. Look at this. Exactly what I was just talking about. The King of Cups, but it's next to the Ace of Swords in reverse. Exactly. Okay, I know who I am and I'm not afraid to be that anymore. And it ain't this shit. It's not this situation over here. It's with Divine Feminine. I am leaving behind all need and want for my physical situation to be any certain way. Haven't they been making that excuse? Think about it. How many excuses does Divine Masculine give you about why they can't be with you right now? Well, I, I need to finish things with my job. I have to pay off these bills. I got to save up some money first. I got to figure out this situation at home first. And blah, 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 blah. A million excuses flying out of their ass when all they need to do is just be with you. That's all it is. It, it doesn't matter, dude. You don't need to pay off your house before you leave your spouse or something. You know what I mean? Like, if you're really unhappy with him or her, leave. Leave. Guess what they're doing? It makes so much sense. Oh, my God. Divine Feminine. That's fabulous. Oh, my God. What a great reading. Guys, this has got to be one of the best readings I've done to date. Congratulations, Divine Feminine. Yay. Oh, my goodness, guys. Happy Wednesday. Thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, you will not get notifications whenever I post one of my super amazing fucking awesome videos. <sighs> also, please hit the like button, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for another super fine video. And I'll see you then. Bye.